can you lift heavy boulders like this with your hand no right so can a machine help us in doing this work well a rigid bar like this which is bent at the bottom can help us lift up heavy boulders well this rigid bent bar is a type of a simple machine this type of simple machine have a special name they are known as levers so levers have special characteristic they are rigid straight or bent bar they can be either straight or bent which is capable of turning about a fixed axis so it has a fixed axis around which it is capable of turning and lifting the load so these type of levers make our work easier to do thus they can be described as simple machines well here the lever is helping us lift up this load so this in this case would be the load and the man is applying effort here so in a downward direction this will be the effort but can you notice a special characteristic of this lever well it is fixed at a particular point around which the load and the effort is acting so the point around which the lever is capable of movement is known as a fulcrum so all levers have the special characteristic of a fulcrum so what is a fulcrum a fulcrum is a fixed point on the lever the axis about which the lever turns passes through this point so the fulcrum itself does not move but the lever moves around this fulcrum and on both the sides of the fulcrum the load and the effort are present it is generally denoted by the letter f surprisingly the seesaw which is used by children in the playground is also a type of simple machine can you call it a lever well it is a straight rigid bar effort and load is acting on both the sides and it is also fixed at a particular point can you find that point well it is this point which is known as the fulcrum and denoted by the letter f so see the fulcrum is fixed and the entire lever moves around this particular point so what about a fishing rod it helps us catch fish so it's making our work easy so it is a simple mach machine for sure but is it a lever well it is a rigid and a bent bar which is moving around a fixed axis so it's a lever can you look at the fulcrum in the fishing rod well i'll show you an animation and you can understand see here the man is using a fishing rod to catch a fish so this would be the load the fish and the man is applying effort on the fishing rod so this will be the effort what about the fulcrum when the man is holding the fishing rod the wrist is acting as a fulcrum see the wrist does not move but is holding the fishing rod and the axis about which the fishing rod moves passes through this point so the wrist in this case can be considered to be a fulcrum in these four pictures tell me which are levers and which is not well let's find out one by one we know the characteristics of lever it has to be a rigid either straight or a bent bar which is capable of movement about an axis so let us see in the first case here a spade is being used for gardening so here the effort is being applied on a straight rod so effort is being applied in a downward direction the load would be the soil that is being lifted so this will be the load and the point at which the spade is moving or a fixed point about which the spade moves is known as the fulcrum so this can be said to be a lever this is a lever 
Now, secondly, this knife. We use a knife to cut vegetables and other food items. A knife is also a straight bar. It is fixed at a point. This can be said to be the fulcrum. The effort is being applied in a downward direction. And the load can be anything that is used, uh, that, that is being cut by the knife. So, it is also a lever. Now, coming to this picture, it is a picture of a wheelbarrow which is carrying heavy load in it. See, this also has a straight bar. The effort is being applied on the handle. It is fixed at a point. See this point. So, this can be the fulcrum and it is carrying a load. So, this is a load. So, this entire setup is that of a lever. Well, see here, we do not have a straight rigid bar here. We do have a fixed point which can set to be the fulcrum, but we do not have any rigid straight or a bent bar. So, this is not a lever, rather this is a pulley. We will learn more about pulleys in following lectures. Okay. So, the levers which you had identified previously, I would be showing you the pictures one by one and you need to tell me which is the fulcrum, which is the load and the effort in this case. So, as evident, here the effort is being applied on the handle of the spade. So, this will be the effort in a downward direction. The load would be this, that is the soil which is being lifted up using the spade and the fulcrum would be this point. This would be the fulcrum because you see the fulcrum is a fixed point about which the entire lever moves. So, this is the fulcrum of this spade. Now, what about a wheelbarrow? You know this is a lever. So, which would be the effort and load in this case? Here, the effort is being applied on the handle of the wheelbarrow. The load which would be this. That is any material which is being carried by the wheelbarrow and the fulcrum would be this point. That is a fixed point about which the entire le lever or the rigid bar moves in doing the work. Now what about a knife? Well, this is a lever you had identified yourself. So, in a knife, the fulcrum is this fixed point. This is a rigid bar and this point will be the fulcrum. The effort is being applied on the blades of a knife. So, this would be the effort in a downward direction and the load would be anything that you are cutting using the knife. So, we have identified the fulcrum, the effort and the load in this case. So, now you saw that different levers have the position of the fulcrum, the effort and the load in different places. So, this is how we classify levers into three classes. The first class of lever, that is class 1 lever, are those levers in which the fulcrum is located between the load and the effort. In class 2 lever, the load is placed in between the fulcrum and the effort. And class 3 lever are the levers in which the effort is between the fulcrum and the load. We would be learning more about these three classes of levers in following lectures. <laughs>